Okay, so we're now at the point where we need to have a look. What goes in must come out. So we can formulate an equation based on what we can see here. We've got the change in state energy plus the change in temperature energy that's given out from the steam. And so what we'll do is we'll call this ms for the mass of the steam, the original steam. Even though it's in a water phase here, it just allows us to identify um, what mass we're talking about, the 0.012 kilograms. That is going to equal what goes into the water down here. So what goes into the water down here is just the mc delta t, delta t. So mc delta t, which is the mass of the water this time. And that's this water here. Notice that C in each of these cases is the same value, they're both water, so 4.18 times 10 to the 3. Now look at what we've got and what we don't have. Well, we have actually can go through each of these terms and say whether we've got them or not. The mass of the steam, yes. Latent heat, uh, vaporization, well that's what we're looking to find out. Mass of the steam, yeah, we've already said we know that. Specific heat capacity of water, yep, we know that. Delta T, 65.4 degrees, the change in temperature of the water, yep, we know that too. Mass of the water, yes, we know that. Specific heat capacity of water, yes, we do. And finally, delta T, for this change here, yes, we do, 19.4. So look at that, we actually know everything we need to know about this to get my final answer. So let's put it together properly. Well, hopefully you're able to see here that I can just do a quick bit of algebra, which allows me to say that MC, sorry, MWC delta T is minus MC, that's S delta T, divided by M S, and that will equal my latent heat of vaporization. So let's fill in the numbers. Mass of the water, mass of the water, be very careful, you put the right mass in, 0.3, so we've got 0.3 times by the specific heat capacity of water, 4.18 times, 4 times 10 to the 3. Oh, I've missed off a bit. Times by the change in temperature, 19.4. Minus the other side, mass of the steam, 0.012 times by 4.18 times 10 to the third 3 times by change in temperature, 65.4. Divide that by the mass. Steam, 0.012, and we can now throw that all into our calculator. 0.3 times 4.18, times 10 to the 3, times 19.4, minus 0.012, times 4.18, which would be 3, Divide that by 0.012, and we get a final answer of we get a final answer of 1753928, and that's joules per kilogram. Obviously that number isn't a very nice number to have leave written down like that, so we're going to say that we can use our, um, put it into standard form, which gives us 
five times 10 to the six joules per kilogram. And so as a result here, we've been able to follow the story through. We've been able to watch what happens when um, we build the story up from one side, then we build the story up from the other. And I'm hoping that you find this helpful in terms of a thought process. Now, it's very unlikely you'll ever see this question identically again, but you might see something like it. And the thought process has always got to be the same. Where is the energy coming from? Where is the energy going to? And draw yourself a diagram showing what happens to each part or each material to help you pick this up, because sometimes there's more than two. Sometimes you've got three things to consider that have changing temperature or changing state. And all of those all go together until they reach thermal equilibrium. So this temperature here is thermal equilibrium, where those two um, materials, the steam and the water, have reached a thermal equilibrium, a point in which they're both the same temperature. So that's hopefully a useful example, and uh, feel free to comment at the bottom if you'd like any more of these, um, of these types of ones, because I know um, obviously not just my students watch some of these ones. Um, so if you are out there and you want more examples of these, or you have a specific example that you'd like me to go through for you, I'm happy to do that. It's not a problem whatsoever, and it will help everyone else once we put those out there as well. Okay?